Hey guys, welcome to Blue Note. And Blue Note is about time. Let's know that messages, so if these messages resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, you guys. So, <clears throat> let me clear my throat here. Um, so I'm getting the song Damaged by Her, H-E-R. Um, I'm getting this energy that somebody is like completely hurt or they're completely damaged. My root chakra, my sacral chakra is tingling right now. So that is really something serious. Like this may have just recently happened. Somebody, somebody may have gotten hurt from a relationship or got hurt from a situation or this person has received some type of bad news. It's almost like they got like bad news after bad news. I'm getting some type of karma energy, okay? I'm getting a part from the song, um, you can do damage. So maybe, um, I'm getting this energy that maybe this person in particular, um, maybe got hurt by somebody who really can do some really collateral damage to them. Okay. So I feel like this person is like healing their wounds right now. Okay. But, um, yeah, I feel like this hurt feeling because now I'm getting this in, this energy in my solar plexus. So I feel like this hurts somebody to the core, whatever it is, is, okay? This is definitely some type of issue with their personal power, their inner peace, or their, they feel they feel a low, they feel not worthy of someone or they're feeling unworthy or they're not accepting their self for who they are okay this is definitely something with the solar plexus energy okay and now i'm getting like this chilling feeling okay something has hurt somebody to the core okay but i'm strongly getting like this is like karma or karmic lesson here i'm i'm, I'm rolling in on the karma karmic lesson here okay and this overall energy, you have house clarified with the lovers and the six of needles in reverse, okay? So I feel like somebody is in some type of connection or relationship, okay? You got the house. Maybe somebody is playing house with somebody. Maybe somebody is living with somebody. And they're in this relationship for stability, okay? Um, clarify, followed by with the six of needles in reverse. I feel like somebody is in a connection with somebody, but I feel like this is like a rebound connection, okay? Because something has been illuminated with the stability here. I feel like somebody is only in a connection for stability, and they're only in this connection with this person because... I feel like somebody is healing their wounds. So I'm getting strong rebound energy. I'm getting strong energy as somebody is only, it's, it's almost like this person don't know how to be by their self, okay? I feel like this is somebody who they're not bound to. They're not committed to whoever this is. And I feel like this person has some problems with expressing their self or expressing how they feel about whatever situation that they're leaving behind. So they're trying to, or they're keeping themselves stuck in a situation that's just not good for them instead of them choosing to be by themselves. So I'm strongly feeling like somebody has probably gone through a breakup or they must have gotten some bad news or delays from another connection. So they jumped into another connection probably with a mistress or with somebody who is easily to get connected to without actually being in a commitment, okay? Um, I strongly feel like this is somebody who probably was a player and they probably played too many mind games. I feel like this is somebody who really made some bad choices in the past. And I feel like whatever, whatever situation that they basically lost here, I feel like they are connected to some type of mistress that is easily to be connected to or easily to get with without actually feeling like they have to be in a connection here, okay? Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy strongly. The letters BKT could be very significant. I feel like whoever this is, I feel like I'm, I'm strongly getting this energy where this person really, um, they may try to play somebody else, okay? I feel like somebody was trying to play a lot of mind games with somebody who intuition was probably on point or maybe try to um, play somebody who basically knew their their intuition was on point. I feel like something has been illuminated here. So I feel like this person literally is only in a connection to be malicious, 
Okay, I feel like somebody got caught up in a lie and I feel like this person was like, hey, I mean, I might as well just be with somebody else who's going to accept me for being a liar. Okay, I'm strongly getting that. So I feel like somebody has chose probably a side chick or they chose somebody who they was actually having an affair with, maybe a mistress. Okay, I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody who probably is overindulging. I feel like this is somebody who probably is very depressed right now. Maybe, um... There's a lot of conflict and challenges that's going on in this person's head. Somebody is all up in their head. They're probably having dreams and visions um, about, this con about this connection that they lost probably. Or I feel like this is somebody who really just tried to play a lot of mind games with somebody who intuition was just completely on point. And I feel like somebody is really having sleepless nights about this, okay? I feel like um, they're burdened and stressed about this. They're really nervous and afraid because I feel like whoever that they played mind games with, I feel like this person is having a new beginning here, okay? Clearly, this is somebody who's having a new beginning, somebody who's really determined to follow their calling here, okay? This could be somebody who could be a business owner. They could have a fashion business or they just um, maybe started a new job or started some type of new type of stability that they probably manifested and it's causing this person to be defeated because I feel like somebody literally... Whoever this, whoever this mature woman is, is the same person with this new occupation here. This is somebody who a lot of people love, okay? This is somebody who really is like a boss. I feel like somebody tried to, literally tried to play a boss and it's because they're fucking damaged. This is somebody who really don't know how to deal with a lover situation or real love here. Okay, so they really um feeling defeated in this energy because they don't want to show how they feel. So instead, this person decides to leave this connection or not do anything about this connection that they probably lost here and try to really fumble here or or didn't know how to deal with the situation and they jumped into a, another lovely situation here, okay? I feel like this is somebody who is trying to cause some type of trouble here. They're trying to cause up some type of mind games here to be malicious and they're going to move forward with this, okay? This is somebody who's really going to move forward in this connection that they are in, even if this is something that they really don't even want. They're actually using this person as collateral to get over somebody else, okay? They're actually going to balance, try to balance this out with this person or this is what they're going to be doing here. And they're still juggling this person. They're still being very indecisive about whoever this mistress that they're actually dealing with. They're actually playing a lot of mind games with this person because... This is somebody who's really not even emotionally detached. Uh, they're, they're not emotionally connected to this person. They're actually emotionally detached and they're always at a crossroads about this person. This is always somebody who they keep going back to because they're a side piece. They're somebody who's always going to accept them for they go they're all the side piece is always going to accept them for juggling them. They're always going to accept not having a commitment with them. They're always going to accept them for um, basically um, doing whatever they want to do, okay? And it's really kind of like a very disrespectful relationship because it's just it's no, it's not love in this situation. So they're going to actually start this new romance with this person, but literally they're only doing this to be malicious. You got the page of needles in reverse, which is the page of swords in reverse, okay? This is somebody who is a player. They like juggling. They like having two partners. They like having third parties, okay? This is somebody who is very malicious and they're only doing this to be malicious towards the person who they probably, who probably did damage to them. Instead of this person actually expressing their self and, and speaking up, um, communicating and speaking some type of truthness of how they feel, instead this person likes to be vindictive and very envious and actually attacking the person that they probably lost. And the reason why they probably lost this person is because they were probably a player and they probably was very immature here, okay? This person is literally only being um, in a relationship or only playing mind games with this relationship because they lost here, okay? This is somebody who really is going to be moving forward in this connection. They're giving their offer to somebody else, okay? This is somebody who probably was in and out of the mature woman's life or in and out of somebody else's life. And that person intuition was just on point and they really lost the situation here, okay? Um, then you got the seven of pentacles. So this person is literally going to move forward in this connection, this loveless connection here. 
They're playing house in a loveless relationship with a mistress, and the shit is not even going anywhere. You got the seven of pentacles in reverse, which is the seven seven of pre presents in the night, in the nightmare before Christmas deck. Okay, um, this is somebody who they are not actually setting any goals with, laying foundations, manifesting any goals with. They're just in a connection to heal their wounds here. Okay, there's a bunch of setbacks and delays or whatever this is. This is not moving forward. They're not putting anything anything into fruition with whatever this is because literally we got the seven of swords in reverse which is the seven of needles this person is healing there as you can see she's sewing herself back together this person is only in this connection to get their life together 10 on the clock here okay this is a what that's will of fortune i feel like this is setbacks and delays it's like this person needs somebody to help them heal. And this side piece or whoever this is, this mistress that they're actually dealing with, that's in this lover's connection with, this is somebody who is helping them heal, heal themselves. And they're also in this connection to, for stability. And I'm I, I'm strongly feeling like I don't think that this person is using this other lover as uh this other other lover or this mistress or this side piece for finances. I feel like this person don't want to spend any finances and they know they don't have to spend any money on this person, okay? They're healing and they're in a loveless relationship. Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? Somebody's literally in a connection with somebody and there's not no, no passion here. There's no love. This person not even attracted to this person. They're not sexually attracted to them. There's no inspiration for them to move forward in this connection here. I don't feel like this person is even having sex with this person because there is some type of sexual blockage here, okay? This is definitely something that's not really coming into fruition. Six of Cups in reverse, okay? There's no love here, okay? They could be dealing with a queen of wands in reverse here. You got the queen of, queen, no, this is the queen, queen of swords. Queen of swords in reverse. Somebody could be dealing with the queen of swords in reverse, okay? This could be a sister, <laughs> this could be a sister of somebody else, okay? Um, or this is a single mother here, okay? I feel like this is somebody who is basically really like, they're dealing with, somebody who's just like them okay the queen of swords on verse is definitely a liar they play a lot of mind games um could possibly be somebody who has some mental health issues um if they are a mother they're not really a good mother this is definitely somebody who is completely probably a psychopath um they don't have it's, it's no emotions involved in this connection whatever this is okay this is not moving forward at all whatever this is they're in a loveless connection with somebody to heal their wounds and it's not even healing it's just this person is completely damaged they're in and out of a whole bunch of people lives i feel like this person drinks a lot look at this person this person drinks their fucking life away. Their eyes is probably really yellow um they may have lost somebody who they probably couldn't handle here okay this is somebody who probably is tall and skinny, okay? They're just, they're drinking their life away. Their skin is messing up or they're drinking. Look at this person, okay? I'm just, give a good look. I'm going to get a close-up here. This person got this bottle in their hand. This is probably uh, brown liquor that they're drinking here or some wine here. This person, number 13 on the clock, this person is really trying to block some type of spiritual transformation here or some type of transition here because they're in there whoever this person is that's getting in this loveless relationship to heal they're really they're really in grief and pain here this is a lot of grief and pain like uh, i can't even explain explain how i'm feeling right now because my solar plexus is really on point right now this person is literally damaged here okay and i feel like this person is healing but they're not healing the connection that they actually lost in the past i feel like whoever this is have a lot of pride and they really don't like to express their emotions okay um let me see what's in the middle oh yeah i feel like the four swords in reverse i feel like this is definitely somebody who really just really he they really are hurt Okay, this is my now my legs is tingling. This is somebody who really cannot deal with their emotions. And I, I just feel like it's really hard for this person to express it. It's like um 
if this person is crying about this last relationship that they lost for this mature woman i feel like they cry by themselves i feel like they think to themselves how much they fucked this up they really fucked up a connection because they like dealing with third parties or dealing with mistresses okay so instead of them actually cleaning up that connection they want to reconcile with a mistress and still don't they're still not going to be happy okay at the present time, you have unexpected income. So I feel like somebody is unexpectedly going to probably, this, this don't even have to have to be emotions here. I feel like somebody is just unexpectedly just, they're not going to share their emotions here. I'm not getting that, okay? I feel like somebody is just going to be unexpectedly going to be in some type of um, hermit mode because I feel like they're self-evaluating their self, okay? Uh, clarify with this um, Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who really is self-evaluating their self because they're really... I feel like this is somebody who really fears commitment. They don't want to be in a commitment. They they want to do whatever they want to do. Um, they want they don't want to be bound to anybody. They don't they 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 live out of the norm here. The letters E and W can be very significant. I feel like whoever this is 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 going to be in this connection with this person, and they're really faking their happiness here. They're faking that they don't want to be in a connection, but they really do, but they really don't. This is a very conflicting, damaged type of person. Okay, I feel like they're going to stay stagnant in this situation, in a situation with the person who they really want to be with, and they're going to move on and stay connected to somebody else, faking their happiness because literally. Whoever they really want is somebody who is really powerful. I feel like this person, the person who they really want has a lot of power and control over their emotions. They must really love this person. Instead, this person decides to be with somebody who they don't really love because they know that the mistress is not going to really give them a lot of damage here. So they're going to stay in this connection for right now because it makes them feel good by healing, okay? They're going to be moving on to this connection for some type of stability here. Uh, again, there is probably don't have to be stability with them using this person for money, but instability wise where they can hold their money. Okay. But they're really stabbing their self in the back. Okay. With this 10 of swords, I feel like somebody is betraying their own self because they're unhealed. They're hurt. They're hurt because they don't, they don't have the person who they really want here. Okay. With this Ace of um, Potions in reverse, I, not Ace of Potions, this Eight of Potions in reverse, I feel like Whoever this is, I feel like they are still blocking off their emotions. They're still staying stagnant because they really fear commitment here, okay? Um, they're still going to be given to others. I feel like this is constantly an ongoing battle. They refuse to compromise. They're still going to be in this energy of being a stalemate and being rigid and stubborn because this is somebody who really don't want to express their emotions. And this is really energy draining, honestly. This is something that maybe this mature woman has gotten over it and I feel like this person has realized that they really fucked up with somebody who is really open and honest and I feel like I just feel like this person is terrified of this mature woman because they know this mature woman want the connection. They want solid foundations. They want a family. They want to settle down. They want a support system. And I feel like this person, I feel like this is somebody who really can't handle that or they feel like they can't handle it. And it has a lot to do with their low self-esteem. Okay. This could be a loner who really just it, it, I just strongly, I, I'm, I'm not even going to sit here and say that they didn't learn how to be a man, but a man is a man or a woman is a woman. I just feel like this person really just really lazy and they don't like to put in work and relationships because they don't want to do what other people are telling them what telling them what to do they don't want to be in a commitment they don't want to be stuck they don't want to feel trapped and stuck but literally this person is literally playing house with somebody who they're not even realizing that they're trapping in their they're they're trapping their self in okay they keep going back to somebody who they really don't love that's trapped and stuck okay and it, 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 they're only doing this to cause some type of trouble or be malicious. They're really trapped and stuck in some type of low vibrational state here. It don't matter if this person don't want to be trapped and stuck in a relationship. They are trapped and stuck in some type of bond here. They're trapped and stuck in some type of love affair, a sexual connection, somebody who they can 
really just they they can not even that they can trust but they can trust that's going to be there that's going to lick their wounds with them somebody who's going to heal them from actually being with heal them from actually being hurt from another connection now whoever this mistress is this is definitely somebody who definitely knows that this person is hurt by somebody else so they don't want to be with i feel like this mistress knows that this person do not want to be with them but this mistress is definitely going to stay bound in this connection and i wouldn't be surprised if this mistress actually did some type of spell work to actually get this person connected okay i feel like this person probably did some type of spell work to probably keep them trapped and stuck but really this person's emotions are completely blocked because this person literally is in a connection with somebody else healing their wounds from somebody else who they really love and not they don't love this mistress so this mistress is really somebody who is low vibrational too this is somebody these are two people who is actually a connection together and they're slowly healing connected together this mistress is healing from this person not loving them and this person is healing from somebody else who's probably showing them our quiet love this is a very low vibrational toxic relationship that's going on, a toxic dynamic here. With this 10 of presence, which is the 10 of pentacles, I feel like this person literally is going to start this foundation with this person, but is really in this reckless type of energy. They're only getting in this connection with this person to distract them from failing in another connection that they basically played mind games in. They basically was trying to be a player or they wanted to be a player they're actually going to get in this connection with this person and it's very senseless very sloppy i feel like this is actually the wrong decision for this person to do and it has a lot to do with them just not wanting to be in the commitment here okay whatever this is it's really just a distraction here and this person is completely just backstabbing their self in this situation okay clearly okay they're basically backstabbing their self betraying their self because they're healed and healed and hurt keeping their self trapped and stuck in a connection that they feel they feel like that they feel it won't do no damage to them because they're not emotionally connected to this mistress they're just having a sexual connection with them that's it i feel like this person is really not emotionally detached with whoever this is okay and this is really sad that this person actually uses somebody else to heal some type of wound here i feel like this is actually going to build some type of karma here tell me more about this ace of, i keep saying ace of potions in reverse so no there's no there, there there's blocked emotions here the ace of mo the ace of potions in reverse is not here, but I feel like this is unrequited love in this connection. This is not a real love situation. I feel like this person probably breaks up with this person to be with somebody else all the time and they get back with this person because they know that this person is going to accept them back. But there is no love in this situation. They're only in this connection because they don't want to be by themselves, okay? They're actually really somebody who really just... Um, use escapism to run away from their problems instead of actually dealing with their problems at hand they use other people or depend on other people to help them heal their wounds instead of them healing their self okay tell me more about this eight keep saying eight of potions eight of potions in reverse please okay this person is staying stagnant stagnant because they fear commitment because they feel like commitment actually will do some type of damage here collateral damage here this person may have gotten hurt when they was in property the fifth grade and they've been using that as an excuse to not be in a connection for a very long time but nothing can be done okay nothing can be done from that either you heal from it and you get over it or you stay stuck in this energy and i feel like this person is literally wanting to stay stuck in this type of energy here okay they like faking their happiness they like overindulging and drinking to run away from their problems instead of dealing with the shit at hand here okay tell me more about this eight of potions in reverse please okay yeah, the signs that I have in this reading is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strongly, Taurus, Pisces, Virgo, strong Gemini, um, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, okay? Um, yeah, whoever this mistress is, this is definitely somebody who is very low vibrational. Um, 
they literally like to have affairs with people who are really emotionally unavailable, okay? And uh, quite honestly, I feel like this mistress might be emotionally unavailable too. This is somebody who probably been damaged as well, okay? These are two low vibrational people, okay? Um, three of cups in reverse with the eight of wands in reverse here, okay? I feel like this person likes to overindulge. They're, they're really um, staying stagnant, overindulging with a bunch of whores or third parties. This person is dealing with third parties hoes they they really don't they don't they really feel like they don't need to be in a partnership because they got a whole bunch of hoes here okay they're not moving forward whatever this relationship is that they have faking their happiness with these hoes this person don't even want to fucking be here okay there is no progress here okay there is no progress with these other options here uh living in their fantasy and illusions they're not even fucking happy my both of my ears is burning right now so somebody really needs to learn the truth about their self here tell me more about this eight of potions in reverse please yeah i feel like somebody really needs to accept their gut feelings because their gut feelings is telling them their low self-esteem is not helping them progress here Somebody really needs to gain some type of personal power or inner peace within their self. Sit with their self. Have a self-reflection mode. Get into some type of introspection here, okay? Because faking your happiness in a relationship is not going to do anything but make it worse. I feel like this person probably got stomach issues. I feel like by them drinking and being in this energy, not taking care of their self, they're always, that's a confirmation. That is actually my coffee machine. Um, somebody definitely really needs to hone in with their self-worth here, okay? Their emotions are completely depleted. They're actually depleted from actually dealing with these third parties. By them dealing with these third parties and as mistress, I feel like, um, I feel like, um, their emotions are being ripped away from them. They're not healing their wounds here. Somebody really needs to heal here, okay? Tell me more about this eight of potions in reverse, please. And we're going to move forward because I feel like this person is, is really building some type of faulty foundation here. Okay. I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm probably going to, to see what's going on with this 1010 10 here. This is definitely somebody who's running away from some type of spiritual awakening here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody with the death card in reverse, nine of wands in reverse, sun and the queen of swords. Okay. I feel like somebody definitely cannot move on okay and this is the problem here they cannot move on from whoever they they cannot move on from this this energy of still dealing with these third parties this person likes to be in some type of low vibrational state they cannot move on from being rigid and stubborn they're not learning from the past it's like they're tired of dealing with third parties and whores and all of this stuff it's like they're faking that they're really happy that they're with third parties, but they, they're only dealing with them because they have low self-esteem here, okay? They're not learning from the past and they're refusing to compromise here. They feel like this is definitely success here because somebody cut their ass off. And since somebody else cut their ass off, could be uh, somebody who's very intuitive with this queen of swords, uh, somebody who's very intelligent, very smart, very intuitive, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Leo, um, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. This is somebody who really is very intelligent, very sophisticated. Could be that mature woman. Somebody definitely cut their ass off because they was dealing with fucking third parties here. They was too vicious. And I feel like whoever this person is definitely tried to demean this person. I feel like by them actually dealing with these third parties, faking their happiness, they're heading right to failure here. Okay? Literally. This person literally tried to offer maybe a mature woman an offer that was really faulty. They tried to play mind games with somebody to demean them, okay? They, they gave them an offer just to take it back and not give them no type of reunion because they feel like this person, this person got, it's too strong here. I feel like this person got, they have some type of power over this person, whereas though they can literally do some type of fucking damage. And I feel like this Queen of Swords did by cutting this person the fuck off. This person, this Queen of Swords see through the fucking bullshit. And this is who this is who this mature woman is. She's too strong. 
She's too strong-willed here. I feel like somebody is fucking with somebody or playing mind games with somebody who really know their worth here, their self-confidence. They accept their self for who they are, and this person doesn't. This person tried to play mind games with somebody who they thought was very low vibrational because that's what they're used to. They're, they're used to dealing with low vibrational women or low vibrational men. They're used to dealing with whores or hoes, people who they can party with, um, overindulge with, people who don't... It, who don't accept actually being in a relationship or a connection. They like dealing with people that's just like them. And that's who they're dealing with right now, okay? This is definitely somebody who really needs to fucking heal here, okay? Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles, please. Tell me more. Because this is definitely has a lot to do with some type of stability here. Yeah, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. This has a lot to do with them living in some type of fucking illusion here, okay? This Ten of Pentacles, they're marrying to somebody they're marrying somebody for money here, okay? And I feel like they don't really fucking care. This is definitely somebody who is jumping into a connection just for finances here. I feel like whoever this is, they in a connection with somebody and they belittle this person, they the meanest person. They don't they're very critical, very cynical with this person. They're living in some type of fucking illusions, okay? They're they're living in some type of illusions. They're looking at the situation as they like dealing with a whole bunch of fucking options here. And that's just it. They want to live like this forever, okay? I feel like this is somebody who really just they, they, they really don't give a fuck. They live in some type of delusion here, okay? Living in some type of fantasy. This is what they like here. Tell me more about this uh, Ten of Presence here. I feel like um, I'm getting this type of conflicting energy because I feel like this is not, this person is not being their true self. And I feel like this mistress, no. I feel like this mistress is going along with the flow because this is somebody who really don't love their self as well. I feel like this is somebody who really is low vibrational. And whoever he or she is is definitely somebody who just, they don't give a fuck if this person don't love them. As long as they giving them some type of little attention that they have, they, they, they just want to suck them dry as well, okay? And I feel like this person just really don't give a fuck. It's a lot of pride in this energy. And when I said that, my my root chakra just started to tingle. Like, this is definitely a truthful thing. It's, it's, it's the truth. This person really has low self-esteem and nothing can be done of this. Like, you can't heal this person, neither can this mistress, okay? This person needs to heal their own fucking wounds here, okay? Somebody tried to exclude you. Or exclude a mature woman out of a situation. And a mature woman literally has her own round table that, she, that this person can't even be in anyway. A lot of cards just came out, but I'm going to take them. Um, the Hangman in Reverse. The World in Reverse. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. And the King of Cups. Okay, so this person definitely... Um, I feel like um, this is definitely something that they really need to let go of. Okay? I feel like this person is somebody who really is, they like, they like their parties and that's it. They like giving their cups to other people. I feel like, um, this is definitely something that they really not happy with, with the world in reverse and the hangman in reverse. This is definitely something that it's, it's really fucking pointless here. This person is really immature with their emotions here. This person likes having third parties, uh, they like getting with people and have that's how they're emotionally abusive here. Okay. Yeah, they like giving their offer to a bunch of people here. You got the Knight of Cups here. Yeah. They don't, it's, it's like they're giving their offer to other people so they won't be all up in their head about this mature woman here. Okay. We're going to move on from this because I feel like I'm going to keep saying the same things over and over again. Okay. Um,. Let me pull from this deck here. Because I feel like I'm going to still do the same messages over and over again. This is definitely somebody who just... They like to show people that they move on. Or they like to show people that they are a player. But really, they, they're not even happy with their lifestyle. It's like they, they really just want to continue to play along with this lifestyle. But they're really disappointed. Okay, with well, this world in reverse. 
they're really disappointed in whatever this is. They're really setting out to continue to have these third parties. Somebody who just likes to deal with horrors because they're easier to deal with here. Yeah, they're giving their offer away to a lot of people. But really, deep down inside, they're in love with this mature woman here. I just hope I made this um, reading clear. This is definitely somebody who's just really damaged and unhealed and hurt. And they're going to stay in this situation. They're going to stay in this energy. They don't want to be bound to anybody because if they do be bound with somebody, they feel like they may fall in love and it's going to hit some type of damage here. And that, that was a confirmation as well. The damage. Okay. They don't want to deal with somebody that can possibly actually damage them. They don't want to deal with somebody where they probably can actually fall in love with because they feel like it will hurt. Okay. Cleopatra, when you are conquered, consider who wins. A queen must lead while a wife might follow. Um, but both both are diplomats. Be immortal, not defeated, okay? I feel like this is who this person is dealing with. Somebody who is more like a wifey material or a Cleopatra, okay? Somebody who is a queen. She has a lot of power and control over this person, okay? I feel like this person is somebody who is who has conquered this person's heart, okay? This Knight of Cups heart, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person's emotions is all up in this um, mature woman's life. This side piece that this person is dealing with knows that 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 the um, mature woman has power over this this person. Okay, somebody is like a Cleopatra here. Okay, um, Ernest Hemingway. Treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Okay. Don't allow any tourists into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is, is to love someone and mean it. It is a rare and valuable thing. Okay, this person has a lot of memories with this mature woman. Okay, I feel like this person needs to treasure treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. I felt like this person literally only felt their heart beating with that person and that's why it's so much damage here because i feel like somebody has tried to play somebody who they actually really loved here okay and i'm just leave that reading at that um it's very heart-wrenching okay um let me pull a meditation quote for you guys one day you'll look back and realize that you worry too much about things that don't really matter Okay, I feel like this person really worried about a lot of things in this connection with this mature woman that didn't really matter. Maybe I'm strongly getting that this person got advice from people who really wasn't in this connect in that connection or in this connection that you guys are in or whatever. I feel like this is somebody who really just they cared about superficial and materialistic things and of course, because it has a lot to do with stability. I feel like this person just probably just don't feel good enough. And one day you'll look back and realize that you worry too much about things that don't really matter. Okay? Somebody cared about these hoes. Somebody cared about resisting change. Okay? With this death card in reverse. Somebody really just really worried about things that really didn't matter. Okay? Okay? Uh, worried about them not showing their emotions but how long are you going to actually do that for the rest of your life you're going to end up really lonely you're going to always walk away from somebody who you love because you feel like it's going to cause some type of damage somebody really needs to hone in on their reflection they really need to look at their self and realize that they are their own damage here um, somebody is hurting their own feelings. Somebody is hurting their own self by staying in this type of energy, okay? But um, I love you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Um, again, this is Blue Note, Timeless None of Messages. Um, if these messages resonate with you or is very helpful to you, like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. But I love you guys. Smooches.